Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. And he got all of this one. Great kick. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive again. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 41. This quarterback doesn't seem to have any trouble with the zone, does he? He recognized the receiver was the perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 32. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. They come out on an empty backfield. He's going to try and scramble. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Throws it in a hurry. And it's first and I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this receiver. He scrambled. Run with it, and he's got to his receiver. Touch it. So that's a play. 74-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Our score. Seven nothing. Duke lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Jayhawks and their ground has always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two. So tough distances. You're focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of the diversity, it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better in the open field. All week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 23 yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Brought down right around the 32. Picks up about nine on the scramble. Third down. Breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. And this one is a beauty. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. At the 30. That makes it second and eight. Duke up seven points. He steps up around the 38-yard line.
Now he tries to buy some time. Good open. And got the first down. I'll tell you what, you got to be a tough quarterback to run this kind of offense. He takes so many more hits and can really get banged around, even on a good day. And he tackles him hard at the 43. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second. From the 43 yard line, second down. Got some open field. He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. Duke is up by a touchdown. it out to maybe the 13-yard line. That's a game of three on that play. That'll make it second to seven. Jim Gill! Hey, hey, two seven. Take four, take four. And he's tackled at the 16. From the defensive coordinator's point, it can really help out your team when you get excellent run support by the corner. Tenth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52's the mic. Oh. Ah. Slings it, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 13. Three yards there on the play. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let him beat him with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. Hoping to make this a two-score game. He got it up. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This is going to be on the end. You know they'd like to something a little more than they did on the last drive when they had to punt the ball away. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the Takes it right side for a good game. That makes it from their own 29-yard line. It's second down. On the throw, incomplete pass. It's always tough trying to put the ball out of the defender's reach, but where your guy can still come down with it inbounds. It takes a lot more precision than it looks. Gets it out quickly, and down he goes. The 32 yard line. Welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Next one off. He got on that one. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. So you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. On the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Five wide. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 29. They 
They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at about the 49. They come out in a five-wide set. three yards to get the first down here on third down. Throws out and through his hands. That brings up fourth and three. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's on the run, and he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. Second it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Red 2, X. Here he goes. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds around the 45-yard line. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. First and 10, ball on the 45. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue, 20. Quick throw, they'll get him for a loss. Second and ten. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. From the 39-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. He's at the 30, and he's taken down at the 28. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop right around the 12 yard line. That's a gain of 16 on the play. First down. Man left, man left. First and 10. Ball on the 12. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. Green nine, green nine. Go! And they get him in the backfield for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. 
Third and 11. Ball on the 14 yard line. He's got it. Touchdown. Just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 82-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Duke has a three-point lead. He's going to try and scramble. Duke's going to use their first time out of the half here. And they picked up four yards on the scramble. Second and six coming up here. Ball in the 29. He scrambles. Yard line. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Under heavy pressure. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense the next time this quarterback drops back to throw. And it's intercepted. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And he's hit immediately. Call it a game of seven yards. Third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five. He gets rid of this one. So we're looking at another third down here. Just throws this one away. Kansas is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. And a 10-10 tie in this game. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style game plan. I think 
are the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they push him out around the 34-yard line. So we've played two quarters. This one's all even at 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Where's 52? Watch 52. 52 is the mic. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 39 yard line. Second down. Number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Red two. Out of bounds, right around the 42-yard line. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Right, time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Second down and 12. Ball on the 35. Three down, three down. No, 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 check that, check that. We're going to right here. Down. Red 90. He steps out around the 36-yard line. That'll be a pickup of a yard. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. Mike 
He steps up. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Kind of hard to tell what happened there. Maybe he hurried it or he didn't have a good grip on the ball. Whatever the case, no chance for the tight end to make the catch. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. A lot of times, you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at the 28-yard line. That makes it second. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. By 52, by 52. Dead. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. Gain of four yards. First down. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. From the 46-yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. He has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You've got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. This is the ninth play of this drive. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Wow. If the basketball coach is watching, That's he might want to give this guy a call. That is That'll excellent vertical. Four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Four down, four down. Watch the run, watch the Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three. Here we go, here we go. Go! And down he goes at the 12-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. Here's the 11th play of the drive. They'll bring him down around the five-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Four down, four down. By 52, by 52. Today, nine. Touchdown, Kansas! <laughs> nice.
nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And now that these guys have broken the tie on that touchdown, we'll have to see if their defense can hold on to the lead. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Jayhawks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 26-yard line. He threw and he completes it. Steps out of bounds around the 29 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and six. And he's going to come up with a sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. Fourth and long here after the sack. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He's at the 40. Quick throw out to the receiver. That's a great tackle. The 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. From the 39-yard line. First down. Red two. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. So at the end of three, Kansas leads it 17-10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Kansas up seven points. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 37. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Gets it out quickly. He's pushed out of bounds at the 25. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. Four down, four down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. his receiver and that's a first down and he's taken down at the 11 yard line first and 10 ball on the 11 yard line fumble picks up the fumble and they make the stop at the six yard line It's second and five here. Six yards to the end zone. Here he goes. The back gets three on the carry. Crowding that line of scrimmage. 
tries to get around the corner. Shows some moves, and he's in. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Jayhawks have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. made at the 46-yard line. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. And he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Get on the ball, get on the ball! Get on the Just ball, under three to go in regulation. They get this one off and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 32. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Two on the carry. The Blue Devils taking their first time out of the half. He makes his way to about the 48. And the run is good for big yardage. Good gain, and I think that's the exact same play they just ran. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. He fights forward to about the 49. The halfback picks up a yard. The Blue Devils using their third and final timeout. He makes it out to midfield. trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Oh, 
He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. For Kansas, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. Good pass rush by these guys today. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He goes out of bounds at the 30-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost big. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Hit and still completed it. And he stops the clock with his fight. That makes it second and ten. From their own 32 yard line, it's second down. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 24-10, Kansas. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirker Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.